What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today's Tuesday, April 7th, starting with the Trade Hacker question of the day. Will I get paid dividends when I trade options? So obviously when you trade stocks, if you own a dividend paying stock, you're going to receive that dividend when they pay that. It's actually going to be deposited in your account or accumulate other shares or whatever you have done. So the question is, if I own an option, if I am short puts or if I own a call, if I'm long a call, do I get the benefit of that dividend? And the short answer is no, you do not receive a dividend. However, the pricing of the options, so that the price of the option, whether it's a call or the put that you're trading, the price of that option is adjusted to reflect the dividend. Okay, so it's not like you lose it. It's not like you get it. The price is just, it's priced in essentially. So that is the answer. So you're not losing out on anything and you're not benefiting in any way based on the dividend. It is simply just priced in. All right, let's go to the platform, see what's happening in the markets today. A little bit of a wild ride in the S&Ps. You can see a little bit of a, a range where we're up. S&Ps were up nearly 100 points earlier and now they're up a measly 16 and a half. We've got about five minutes to go until the market closes. And we're up just slightly. So big reversal in stocks. Dow up only 158 now. NASDAQ up 31. Russell up 7. Oil down about 5%. So it's been you know kind of range bound all day. Gold down about a half percent. Bonds only down about a half percent. They were down closer to a percent. So as stocks have come down, bonds have gone up. And then Natty Gas making a big move, almost 9% higher. So that's what's happening in the indices. As far as trades for us today, we added some, we sold some more premium in gold. So we added to our position in gold. And what else do we do? We added to our position in wheat and... That's about it. Just kind of letting our positions work for us. So let's check out some of the other stocks that we've got going on on our watch list. Apple down a little bit. Kind of a mixed bag. Boeing down after being up big yesterday. It was up big again today, but it's, but it's really come off of its highs. Some other big movers. Banks up. The Capital One Financial up almost 8% on top of a big move yesterday. And... Everything just kind of mixed. No real conviction one way or another. I think uh, Tesla's up about 6%. So no real conviction one way or another. I've been talking about, I, don't, I really don't believe this rally. You know, I talked about yesterday, I think we could get up to about 2,800 level on the S&P and then we'd roll over and die if not sooner. Not sure if this is, this is happening right now, but it rallied up and it's petered out. This market is not strong, my friends. It is not strong. I, th I see look out below in the near future. I mean, there's just, I, I just think that the impact of the COVID-19 coronavirus is way too much for even the $2.2 trillion stimulus. I think it's too much for the oil situation. I, I, I just don't think that what we are seeing is priced in yet. With the earnings coming up, with the you know different employment reports coming out, I think we are in for still a, a wild ride. So just my opinion, play it based on your assumption. Keep your position size small, stay mechanical, use your probabilities. It's not all about directional. Uh, in fact, we are pretty delta neutral overall in our alerts portfolio, but but have been adding more and more short delta. So a down move certainly would benefit a lot of our positions. So that's all I got for you. Everybody take care. We'll talk to you tomorrow.